here we go. Hey, it's the best one here again. And welcome back. We go to Scratch House in the MS6. Last episode, we defeated the Loki Scratch with 100 in the series, 8 to 1 behind us. That were Shout out Pigeon Performance for a second. Pigeon Today, we will take on the Hot Corner here. We have the Nissan Tusker Plus at the end of last episode. Going to roll as the third starter of the TV. I can cut his Fourth place in the division will be long the left hander Rachel Rhubarb. 1 0 to the 450 ERA and a 1 whip. Jump into the action here. Uh, reasons that we're just jumping into it. Um, last, I tried to record this two nights ago. And the Twitch was not having it. It was not staying active on the streaming platform for more than about two minutes. So, couldn't really record the Hot Corners thing. I got it loaded to, like, the beginning of the game, and then I realized it wasn't recording. I kept trying to restart it. System was not cooperating, so we decided, hey, we'll just delay it. Then last night I got busy, so I forgot about it. But, uh, here we are. <laughs> Uh, here's a look at our lineup today. It's going to be Woody leading off at third. He's his tenth. Then it's first baseman Stump Pitts locked in, batting second. Uh, Nico Jennings bats third in center. Martin Polbean will be at batting cleanup today. He's in left. Rookie Herpy Nixon gets the start in right field today. He's batting fifth. Batting sixth is second year D.H. Harsh McFreddy. Batting seventh, shortstop Hester Reliable. Batting eighth, catcher Parker Freeman. And batting ninth and tenth is second baseman Cole Salmon. Foss is on the mound for us. Here is the Hot Corners lineup. Third baseman Buttons Bunterson leads off. He is locked in. And it's center fielder Auguste Jeterson also locked in. Second baseman Jeb Jumps bats third. He is also locked in. Batting fourth, continuing locked in chain is D.H. Bo Belter. Batting fifth is first baseman Dirk Sportswood. Then at batting sixth is right fielder Marsha Brown. Batting seventh and locked in is shortstop Dion Base. Batting eighth, left fielder Rolf Borgener. And batting ninth, catcher Preston Adonimus. Thank you, Eccentrics. Thank you. Let us hope we can do... Do a good job today. Let's just try. Looks at like the hot corners top of their lineup is uh, feeling it at the current moment, so we'll have to work around that. Spunterson is quickly behind 0 2. Easy repping away from Fuss. Foul off 0 0 2. Change up and in. Bunterson fouls it off again. He stays alive. Let's go down in the way. Dribble to second. Salmon to his right. Cuts it off. And that is the first out as Bunterson knocked down to neutral. Now to bring up the center fielder, Gusty Jeterson, who's locked in, hitting a buck 76. Three homers, eight RBIs. Jeterson not having a great year, but as of late, he's been hitting well. One on the count. Here comes the pitch from Fuss. Change up the sky into left field. Pole being in. Makes the catch easily. Two down. That'll bring up the second baseman, Jeff Jumps, also locked in, hitting 283. Three homers, nine RBIs on the year. Solid year for Jeb, though a little bit down in the power department. First pitch fastball down in the way is lined deep in the left center field. That will hit off the base of the wall out there in the deepest part of the park. Jennings gets it in, but Jumps has an easy two-out double as he keeps the inning alive for the hot corners. That'll bring up the DH cleanup hitter, Bo Belter, who was locked in, hitting 256. One homer, nine RBIs. Change up in there at the knees from Fuss, 0 and 1. Fast bump and away, check swing, first strike at the letters, 0 and 2, the count to Belter. Fast bump and in high, 1 and 2, good take. Well down and away, swung through it, strike 3, Belter chases it out of the zone. First punch out of the year for Fuss as he gets through the inning scoreless. Only giving up a hit and not showing a lot of rust as Fuss was staying active in his uh, half a year off. <laughs> Bottom of the first, Woody, Pitts, and Jennings do up against the long reliever, Rhubarb, getting the start today. Woody, tense right now, third baseman hitting 420, blaze it, two homers, 13 RBIs. Here's Rhubarb's numbers on the year. Rhubarb, you remember, did pitch a year for the uh, Freebooters. Uh, Lettuce was part of that championship team in year number four. Uh, Rhubarb 1 0 with a 450 ERA and a one whip in her two appearances. Uh, she's given up four earned runs in eight innings, average of about four innings a start, six hits given up. Two walks, one hit batsman, and she has struck out six. Batting average against is 200 on the year, so solid numbers for Rhubarb. Uh, just, you know, nothing else. No more, no less. Solid. 
I'm on the counter. What is that? Fastball? Is that the letters? That's outside. Two and one the count. Fastball away is fouled off. Two and two the count. Chased it outside, but Woody is staying alive as he fouls it off. Two and two. Fastball middle in. Turned on by Woody. Driven deep left center field. Did he get enough on it? Yes, he did. It is gone over the hot corners. Bullpen cannonball coming at you. Solo home run for Christopher Woody. His third of the year. And that makes it a quick one nothing lead for the freebooters early. First home run given up by Rhubarb this year. Now to bring up the captain. First baseman Stump Pitts batting second. He's locked in. Hitting 522 with two homers and seven RBIs. Good take low. Ball one. Quickly ahead of 2-0 in the count is Pitts. That is high. 3-0 the count. Caught the letters with the fastball. 3-1 the count. Slider is inside. It's a 5-pitch walk. As Pitts never took the bat off his shoulders. He'll be on first with none down and that'll bring up Jennings the center fielder hitting 500 on the year four homers 19 RBIs leading the team in the RBIs and home run categories Jennings is second in batting average behind Stump Pitts over there at first pick off the first on the second pitch before the second pitch is uh, Pitts right at right he got back 0-1 count coming to Jennings right down the middle on the heater 0-2 is Rhubarb is tense here following the walk Fastball up, ripped in the hole, past the diving sportswood into right field. That's a base hit. First three batters reach here for the free bidders. That's our second hit. Two on and none down for Pole Bean, the left fielder. Batting clean up today. Pole Bean hitting 419 with a homer, six RBIs. Good solid year for Martin in his first full season as a starter. Strike the letters, 0-1-1. Slider away, fouled off. 0-2 the count. Fastball. Poke down the line in right field. That is a fair ball as it's on the chalk, and that will drive in another run. Single for Paul Bean as Pitts scores from second. Runners at the corners now as it's a 2 0 lead. I bring up rookie right fielder Herpy Nixon batting fifth today, hitting 200 on the year with an RBI, getting his second start of the season. He has pinch hit in one game and started one other appearance. Fastball away at the knees, 0 1. Ooh, chased it down in, 0 2. A little too quick on that one, Nixon. Fastball up is skied to right field. This should be deep enough to score the runner from third. Runner tags. Here's the throw from Brown. It is a decent one. Just in time to nail him at the plate. It's a double play. Good throw from Brown. Now to bring up Big Freddy, the DH. Hitting 400 with an RBI home run. Four RBIs on the year. Runner at second. Runner at first with two down. Strike at the knees. 0-1. Outside with the changeup. 1-1 the count from Rhubarb. That uh, changeup is way high. Two and one. Fastball away. Two and two. Fastball up and in. Lined up the middle by McFreddy over the diving shortstop's glove into center field. That is a base hit. First and second here with two down as he keeps it alive with the single. And that'll bring up shortstop Hesto Reliable. Batting in the seventh slot today. Hitting 375. Three homers. 16 RBIs. And he is a low pitch active here against the left-hander. Change at the knees, hit hard up the middle, past the diving jumps into center field. That might score a run. There comes the throw to the plate, cut off by Sportswood as they have Reliable in a rundown. And they throw the th second runner out at the plate as we got in the rundown to distract them. It is an RBI single for Reliable as we improve the lead to 3-0. Could have been 5-0 had the runners not been thrown out at the plate, but I'll take three runs. To the second, Sportswood, Brown, and Base do up against Fuss. Here's first baseman Dirk Sportswood leading off. Five hitter hitting 143, two homers, seven RBIs for the first baseman. He's been with the hot corner since the beginning of the series here in his sixth year. Grounds the first pitch right at the shortstop. Easy play for Reliable, one down. Brings up the right fielder Marsha Brown, who made a great defensive play in the outfield last inning, hitting 242, one homer, two RBIs. She got an outfield assist. Curveball down and then ripped into right field. That is going to be a base hit. Brown already doing stuff on both sides of the ball as she gets on with a one-out single. Gotta bring up shortstop Dion Base. Locked in, hitting 400, three homers, 13 RBIs. Base just recently picked up in the free agent pool by the Hot Corners. Was a member of the Heaters originally. Swung through that fastball, 0-2 the count. Bus looking for the punch out. Change it down and in as low as the runner goes. Freeman throws it down. It is late. Stolen base for Brown. 
For Marsha, that is her first attempt to steal this year. She is one for one. One and two, the count here to base. Pass bump and away. Runner goes on the check swing outside. Throw to third. Late again. Second stolen base for Brown as she's two for two. Two two pitch coming over by base here. Throw ball down in the way. Hit off of Fuss's glove to the second baseman, Salmon. He cannot get it there in time. It's an infield single as the run scores. It's 3 1. Hot corners on the board. Right, we got the eight hitter, left fielder Rolf Borgener, hitting 273. Three RBIs on the air. Pick off to first. Nothing doing. Low throw. Good save by Pitts. There's two seam rubbing in. It's called strike the letters. That one won. Pass put down in the way. is low and outside. One and one the count. Well down and in. Dribbled to second by Borgener. Cut off by Pitts. He'll flip it to Fuss in time for the second out as the runner gets the second on the fielder's choice. Going to bring up Adonimus, the catcher, hitting 320 with four RBIs here at the bottom of the lineup. Solid average on the year for Adonimus. Even if he is not the primary catcher option for the hot corners. Primary being a uh, chase to bull. Pass put down in the way. Runner goes on the first pitch. Throw to third. Just late. It's a stolen base for base. For Dion, that is his fifth attempt to steal this year. He is 5 for 5. 0 oh, 1 the count to Adonimus. Seam up and away. Fools him as he swings through it. 0 oh, 2. Egypt down in the way. Swung through it. Strike 3. A punch out for Fuss is second today as he gets out of the inning after only giving up one run on the RBI infield single by base. 3 1 the score to the bottom of the second. Freeman, Salmon, and Woody do up against Rhubarb. Here's backup catcher Parker Freeman getting the start over Effort Ho, allowing him to heal up from his uh, groin injury. Freeman hitting 333 on the year. It's quickly got it in one one count here as Rhubarb finds the zone. Change about side is dribbled up the middle. Easy play for base there. It's short. He'll make the play. One down. Brings up second baseman Cole Salmon. Tense right now, hitting 308, two homers, nine RBIs as he had last game off to fix his rattled mojo. In his stead, allow Eduardo Electra, the backup middle infielder, hit a home run. So let's see if Salmon can get on base. And his cold slump here as he's got a 1 1 count. Fastball down in the way, a sky deep left field, just under it as Borgner's back. Borgner makes the catch, two down. Now to bring up Woody, who led off the game with a solo home run. He's 1 for 1 today. Still tense, unfortunately. Would he not tense because he was 0-4 last game? He reached base on a walk on his last plate appearance. Uh, but he made an error in the ninth inning of the last game against the Wild Pigs, which uh, cost him his mojo. Which is why the home run did not fix it as he had 2-0. Fastball down the middle, line to right center field. That's going to be a gapper, and that's going to get all the way to the wall for Christopher. He's going to have extra bases once again here. Flying into second, he'll slide in safely. It is a two-out double to keep the inning alive. As there, he fixes his mojo. Brings up Pitts. Walked his last time up. Still looking for his first official at bat. Ball low on the heater. 1-0. Oh. His rhubarb is still tense. Slider at the knees. First strike. 1-1. One one. Fastball down the way. Hit pretty well by Pitts as he's looking for the high wall out there. He's going to get it as it ricochets to Borgener. It's an RBI single as Woody scores from second. 4-1 freebooters as we get that run right back. Now to bring up the center fielder Nico Jennings who's 1-1 one one today. Singled his first time up. Pick off first, loath pick. Good save by Sportswood as Pitts gets back. Fastball high, ball one. Fastball down and then fisted to short. Easy play for base as he makes the catch on the soft liner, and that ends the inning. So a two-out single from Pitts scores a run. 4-1 the score to the third. Bunterson Jeterson and jumps top of the lineup for the hot corners here in the third. Here's Bunterson, he's 0 for 1 today. First pitch fastball is fouled off to the right side as he's just late, 0 and 1. Egypt down and in, check swing inside, good take from Bunterson, 1 and 1. So we're down in the way, line down the left field line, that's going to be a fair ball as that's going to get in the corner out there. Ball being plays the ricochet wells, Bunterson's looking for two, throw in is late. One for two day for Bunterson now, is that'll bring up Jeterson, runner in scoring position with two down, none down. Jeterson 0 for 1. Pick off the second, nothing doing as the runner gets back. Hey, right. Seamer up and away is called strike, 0 and 1. Ball Down and away is outside, 1 and 1. Hey. Pick off the second, nothing doing. Hey, 
Pass popping in, call the ball, two and one. Change it down and in is inside, three and one the count here to Jeterson. Ball down in the way, call to strike the knees as he's taking, full count. Tough out activates for Jeterson. See him rubbing in, popped up, sh left center field over for Paul Bean. Calls up Jennings, makes the nice catch, one down. Runner holds it second. Bring up jumps, one for one with the double. Fastball down and in is inside, ball one. We go off the second, nothing doing as he gets by the fielder in the center field. Jennings comes up throwing, but he's going to be late as Bunderson moves up on the error by his fuss. One out of the count. Two seamer away for a strike, one and one. Ball down and away, floats in there for a strike at the knees, one and two. Up and in, taken inside and high, two and two. Pass ball down and in, chased it in the dirt, strike three, third punch out for Fuss today, two down in the inning. I bring up Belter over one. See him roughing in, fouled back by Belter, 0 and 1. Pass ball and away, chased it outside, 0 and 2. Change up and in is inside, 1 and 2. Fastball middle in, fisted on the ground to second. Sam over to his left, cuts it off, fires the first in time, and that ends the inning as Fuss does a good job of working around the leadoff double. Stranding the runner, bottom three, four, one the score. Polbean, Nixon, and McFreddy do up against Rhubarb. Here's Polbean, he's one for one today with an RBI single. Strike the knees, 0 and 1, good pitch from Rhubarb to get ahead. Fastball at the knees again, Polbean crushes it this time, right center field, he just gets under it though. Brown calling, then he's uh, she's overruled by Jeterson who makes the catch, one down. Got to bring up Nixon, rookie's over one today. He flew out to right field, which turned into a double play when uh, Brown gunned out the runner trying to score from third in the first inning. Change up at the knees for a check swing strike, 0-1. Change up, uh, fastball at the letters for a strike, 0-2. Way inside with the heater, 1-2. and two. Change it below the knees, dribble to the mound, rhubarb to first, two down. He's up with Freddy. He's one for one today with a single. Fastball up and in. McFreddy jumps on it, hits a deep right center field, but running it down is Jeterson for the third out. One, two, three inning for Rue Barber. First scoreless one today to the fourth. Still a three run game. Sportswood Brown and Base do up against Fuss. Sportswood, he's 0 for one today. Fastball down and in. Check swing for a strike. 0 and 1. Ball down in the way, hard grounder at the middle, pass Salmon in the center field. That's a base hit. Sports would now one for two as he's on the lead off the inning. Got to bring up Brown, who singled her first time up, stole two bases, and then scored a run on a grounder on an infield single by base in the first inning. Second inning. You see him up and away in the first pitch, lined into left field, pole being charging, sliding, making a nice catch. One down. Great play, Martin. Got to bring up base, who had an. Infield single RBI his first time up. He's one for one. First pitch curve ball. Skied by base into center field. Jennings charging, calling for it. Medium deep. Makes the catch. Two down. Got to bring a Borgener. Oh, for one today. Grounded out on the fielder's choice his first time up. First pitch change of down in the way. It's called strike the knees. 0-1. Fastball down and in is low, 1-1. One one. Curve ball up and in, popped up by Borgener, but that's going to get out of play behind the screen, 1-2. and two. Team up and away, swung through it, strike three, fourth punch out today for Foss as he gets set through another scoreless inning. Bottom four, still a three-run game, bottom of our lineup due up, reliable Freeman and Salmon here against Rhubarb. Reliable one for one today. RBI single his first time up. Change it below the knees. Ball one. Change it at the knees. Reliable crushes at the right center field, but running it down is Brown in the gap. One down. Got to bring up Freeman. Over one today. 
Pass ball away, ball one. Slider down and in, ground at the short. Easy play for base. Two down. Try to bring up Sam and 0 for 1 today. Pass ball down the middle. Sam goes with it down the left field line. Did he get enough of it? This is off the end of the bat. It's gone! Cannonball coming at you in the low wall, over the low wall in left field as Sam pokes that one down the line off the end of the bat, using his great strength to get his third homer of the season. He is makes it a 5-1 game. He's up Woody, 2-2, two for two, homer double in RBI as Rhubarb done here after three and two-thirds innings, giving up five runs, one homer, uh, two homers, sorry, uh, one walk and a couple hits. Uh, coming out of the bullpen is right-hander Joanna Heater. Rhubarb gave up eight hits in one walk, as well as the two homers in there. Five runs total. Here's a look at Heater's numbers on the year. Heater is 0-1 with a 4.76 ERA and a 1.68 whip. Six earned runs given up in seven appearances, totaling 11 and a third innings. Fifteen hits surrendered, one of them a homer. She has walked four and struck out five. Batting average against is 3.19, which is second worst in the bullpen. First pitch to Woody. Fastball below the knees, ball one. Curveball down and in line in the left center field. That's a base hit for Woody. His second hit today. He's two for three. Or sorry, third hit. He's three for three. He's now a triple shy of the cycle. Now to bring up Pitts. One for one today. RBI single last time up. He's also walked today. Contact versus right hander active for Pitts here against Heater. Fastball with the letters. That one one. Fastball's high and in. One and one. Fastball below the knees. Hitting the hole to third. Bunterson cuts it off and fires to first in time. And that ends the inning. Still, Freebooters get a fifth run on a solo home run by Cole Salmon to knock Rachel Rhubarb out of the game to the fifth. It's now a four-run game. Adonimus, Bunterson, and Jeterson do up against Fuss. Here's Adonimus, 0 for 1 today. His fastball down in the way. He's called strike the knees, 0-1. Change bumping in is high, 1-1. Seamer down, taking low, 2-1. The ball in the middle of the plate, grounded at the middle for Adonimus. That's his first hit. He's one for two. I believe that's a six hit today for the hot corners. Brings up Bunterson, one for two with the double. Doubled his last time up. Bunterson's also grounded out. First pitch popped up. Shallow right field. Pits out for it. Makes the catch, one down. Got to bring up Jeterson, who's 0 for two. This two seamer is high. Ball one. But down in the way is called to strike the knees. One and one. Change up and away outside. Two and one. Good take from Jeterson. Two seamer down and then is low. Three and one. For a ball middle away. Check swing for a strike. Full count to Jeterson as tough out activates once again. Pass up and in. Taken high. Ball four. Good take from Jeterson as that's the first walk for Fuss today. First and second with one down for Jumps. He's one for two with a double. Change up middle in on the first pitch, driven deep right center field by Jumps, going back for Jennings to the warning track, the wall leaping, it's over his glove into the Freebooters bullpen, and that three-run shot puts the Hot Corners within a run. Fourth of the year for Jumps, and that makes it a 5-4 to four game, as he crushed that hanging changeup. Gonna bring up Belter over for 2, base is empty as Fuss is now tense. Pass by the way, is fouled off, 0-1. Seamer up and in, swung through at 0 and 2. Seamer down and in is low and inside, 1 and 2. Fastball middle of the way, hit down the right field line. Nixon giving chase, he's not going to get there as that's into the corner. Belter going to hold it first instead of pushing his luck. This brings up Sportswood, he's 1 for 2 with a single. First pitch curveball down and away is low, ball 1. Seamer down and in is low and inside, 2-0. And oh. Nice ball away, call to strike, 2-1. and one. Change it down and away, hard grounder at the middle, another base hit as Sportswood on with his second hit today, he's 2-3. for three. Ninth hit today for the Hot Corners as they're threatening here. Brings up Brown, 1-2 for two with a single. She's also stolen two bases and scored a run. Fast ball away is low, ball 1. Ball down and in. Called a strike at the knees. One on one. 
You see her up and away. Swung through it. One and two. Change it down and away. Dribbled the short. Liable to second one. Sam in the first. Not in time. It's fielder's choice. Runners at the corners for, for base. One for two today with an RBI single. Fastball up and in is high. Ball one. Ball down and away is low. Two and oh. Do you see me down and in? Check swing inside. Three and one. Up and away. Outside ball four. And that loads the bases here. For Borgener. 0 for two. Fastball down and away. Strike at the knees. 0 and one. At the knees, grounded the first. Pitts there on the backhand. He'll run to the bag and make it there in time to end the inning. As Fuss gives up three runs on the homer by jumps, but he strands the bases loaded to keep the lead. Bottom five, Jennings, Polbean, and Nixon do up against Heater. Here's Jennings, one for two today with the single. Build the lineup up for the freebooters in the inning as he takes a fastball inside. What a no. Fastball up and in. Hit pretty well in the left field by Jennings as that space hit. Second hit today, he's two for three. Trying to bring up Pole being one for two with an RBI single on the cards. Fastball middle in for a strike, 0 and 1. Fastball up, chased by Pole being 0 and 2 as K Man activates for heater. Fastball up and away, hard ground to the first. Sportswood taps the bag for one, and Jennings is out at second. It's a double play. That's upsetting. Trying to bring up Nixon. 0 for 2. Uh, 2 down, nobody on here for the rookie. Strike away in the heater, 0 and 1. Late on the inside heater, 0 and 2. Paul Bean looking for the punch out here. Not Paul Bean, Jesus, heater, and she will get it as Nixon chases a high fastball. 1 2 3 inning for heater following the double play to the 6th. Adonimus, Bunterson, Jeterson do up. Fuss done after 5 innings. Uh, giving up nine hits, two walks, four strikeouts, uh, one home run ball. He gives up four runs. He is in line for the win, though. Downham's to lead off, one for two with a single. Coming out of the bullpen is going to be uh, rookie left-hander Tater Mustard, who is tense at the current moment. Uh, Mustard has no record on the year with an 11-12 ERA and a 2-12 whip. In his four appearances, he's given up seven runs uh, in five and two-thirds innings, giving up 12 hits. Four of them homers, and he has struck out four. Batting average against 429 for the rookie. Not a great rookie campaign so far. So he looks to bounce back. Out off on the first pitch, 0 and 1. Donovan's the switcher to one out bat right handed as he takes a second pitch curveball at the knees, 0 and 2. Last ball up and in inside, 1 and 2. Slider down and in. Chased by Adonis, but he stays alive. Ball up and away. Sky ball by Adonimus into left field. Pole being back a few steps to his right. Makes the catch. One down. Gonna bring up Bunterson, who's one for three with the double. First pitch fastball away is low. One and oh. Slider middle in. Just inside. Two and oh. Curveball down and away. Floats in at the knees. Two and one. Last ball down and in. Check swing low. Three and one. Curve ball up. Fouled off. Full count. Slider up and in. Turned on by Bunterson. Hit pretty well. Left center field. Pole beam retreats to the warning track. Makes catch for the second out. Brings up Jeterson. He's 0 for 2 with a walk today. Curveball down and in. Popped up. Foul off out of play. 0 and 1. Last ball up and away. Outside on the check swing. 1 and 1. Got it down and away. Check swing again at the knees. 1 and 2. Tough out activates for Jeterson one more time. Curveball up and in. Foul off. 0 and 2. 1 and 2 still. Last ball away. Foul off. Slider down and in. Check swing low. Two and two. The ball down and in. Fouled off by Jeterson as he stays alive. Last ball up and away. Fouled off again. Jeterson fighting here. 
liner away. Lined up the middle. Pell Mustard with the self-preservation reaction on the liner as he gets through the inning. One, two, three. Bottom six. McFreddy, reliable, and Freeman do up against Heater. McFreddy, one for two today with the single. Fastball away from Heater. Misses. Heater down and in. Caught the zone this time. One on one. Curveball middle in. McFreddy lines it left center field. That is going to get down and all the way to the wall as Jeterson fields it off the hop. McFreddy looking for two. He gets there before the throw. Second hit today. Going to bring up Reliable. One for two. RBI single today. Power versus right hander and low pitch active here. Pass with that and in. Swung late. 0 and 1. Curveball at the knees. Driven deep to center field by Reliable, but it's right to Jeterson who makes the catch. One down. McFreddy draws the throw and retreats wisely to second. Got to bring up Freeman, who's over two today. Fastball up, hard ground in the hole to second. Jumps, dives, and cuts it off. He'll fire to first to get Freeman, who's over three. As McFreddy gets the third, as that was nearly an RBI single. Got to bring up Cole Salmon, who hit a solo home run down the left field line his last time up off the end of the bat. Inside pitch active here for the second baseman. Fastball middle away is called strike 0 and 1. Fastball up and in is dribbled softly to second, jumps to first in time, that ends the inning. RBI chance goes by the wayside as we head to the seventh, it's still 5 to 4. Jumps Belter and Sportswood do up against Mustard. Here's Jumps, he's 2 for 3, 3 run homer last time up, he's also doubled. Specialist active for the first time here today for Mustard. First pitch fastball grounded back to Mustard, who fields it cleanly, 1 down. Brings up Belter, who's one for three with a single. First pitch curveball down and away, grounded up the middle. Salmon dives, he cuts it off, great play, fires the first, in time, two down. Gotta bring up Sportswood, two for three today, two singles his last two times at the plate. First pitch fastball up and in is a ball, one and zero. Slider down and away, caught a strike, one and one. Curveball down and in is bounces, two and two. Up and away is high. Three and one. Got it down and away. Caught a strike. Full count. That's bumping in. Sportswood drives a deep dead center field. Going back Jennings at the warning track. At the wall. Looking up. It is gone. And the game is tied as Sportswood hits his third homer of the year as he puts it in the second deck in center. 5-5 five, five your score as that brings up Brown. 1-3 with the single. Ball down, bounces, ball one. That has been Mustard's Achilles heel this season, giving up too many home runs. 2-0 the count as the rookie falls behind here to Brown. Slider down and then is dribbled back to Mustard, who fields it cleanly. He'll fire to first. That will end the inning. But the Hawk Corners even it up with the th home run from Dirk Sportswood, his third of the year. 5-5 the score to the bottom of the seventh as the top of the lineup's up against here. Woody's 3-for-3 three three today. He has done everything except triple. He's got one RBI on the home run. Looking for the cycle here. Fastball away, misses. Ball one. Fastball up, swung late. One on one. Fastball up, line hard to first. Diving Sportswood to his right. He makes the stop. One down. Brings up Pitts. One for two. So RBI single and a walk on the line score. Change bit the knees. Line to first. Sportswood leaps and knocks it down. He will recover in time to flip to Heater for the second out. Now to bring up Jennings, who's two for three, two singles. Singled his last time at the plate. Fastball right down the middle for a strike, 0 and 1. Chased it high, 0 and 2. Came in active for Heater once again as she looks for another scoreless inning. Rubble down and in is skied to center, and she's going to get it as it's 1, 2, 3. Jeterson making the catch. To the eighth, we're still tied at five. Base, Borgner, and Adonimus do up. Mustard done after two innings. The only blemish on his record, the solo home run, which tied the game. Coming out of the bullpen will be left-hander specialist Hander Ospecialo in his sixth year. First with the Freebooters. First five are all with his home original team, the Wild Pigs. Ospecialo has no record, a 4 ERA and a 1-1-1 one, one, one whip. In his four appearances, he's given up four runs, recorded two saves and nine innings pitched. Ten hits surrendered, two of them homers, and he has walked, struck out seven. Batting average against 278. Be facing base here first. First pitch fastball grounded the second. Salmon backhands and fires. One down. There we go. Borgener. 0 for 3 today. Still tense as pinch hitting for him will be center fielder Damian Rush. 
Hitting only a buck sixty on the air. Swung for a fastball, 0 and 1. Rebel down and in, grounded hard to short. Reliable there. Makes the play, two down. That'll bring up Adonimus, one for three with the single. Slider up and in, inside, 1 and 0. Fastball down and away is low, 2 and 0. Rebel down and in, dribbled up the middle. Reliable to his left, cuts it off, fires. And it's a 1 2 3 inning for Ospecialo after three ground outs. Bottom eight, Pole Bean, Nixon, and McFreddy do up. Pole Bean won for three today with an RBI single as Rush will stay in the game in left field after pinch hitting for Borgener. Heater locked in will stay out there on the mound to start the eighth. Fastball away, misses outside, 1 0. Curveball hangs as Pole Bean jumps on it, hits a deep left center field. He did not get on all of it as at the wall, Jeterson will make the catch, one down before he slams into it. Grabbing up the rookie, Herpy Nixon. He's 0 for three today. Ball up and in is inside. Ball one. Fastball swung through by Nixon. One and one. Fastball in the dirt. Two and one. Nixon struck out swinging his last time up when he chased a high fastball. That high fastball is driven deep right center field. Nixon got a good piece of it. Did he get all of it? To the walls. Jeter said he leaps. It's gone. Home run, Herpy Nixon. Cannonball coming at you as he lands in the first row in right center field. First career home run for the rookie Nixon as the Freebooters take the lead. Six to five. I'll bring up McFreddy, two for three, double on a single. That's the one mistake Heaters made all afternoon. Will it come back to bite her? Change of away for a strike, 0 and 1. Fastball outside to McFreddy, misses, 1 and 1. Fastball's high, 2 and 1. Fastball up, line back, and hits Heater right in the face. Adonis recovers in time to get McFreddy for the second out, though. That'll bring up Reliable, who's 1 for 3 with an RBI single. And coming out of the bullpen will be right-hander Lucy Finnegan's replacing the injured heater. Gives up the go-ahead run on a homer and then promptly takes a line drive to the face. Finnegan's on the year is 0-3 with an 8.59 ERA and a 1.98 whip. Uh, she's given up 14 earned runs and six appearances, recording one save, throwing 14 and two-thirds innings, which is the most out of the bullpen. 22 hits given up, two of them homers. She has wa hit one batter. Walk seven and struck out five, batting average against 355, which is the worst out of the bullpen. She also is having the worst year statistically out of the bullpen. Sounds like someone should have lost their job a long time ago. Finnegan's, of course, original member of the Nemesis. We'll take over here on the mound. Looking to get the last out of the eighth. Reliable takes the first pitch down the middle, 0 1. Fastball's inside, 1 1. Slider middle in is lined to center, second, right at jumps, he'll make the catch, that ends the inning. Go ahead run for the freebooters, comes on the solo shot by rookie Herpy Nixon, his first of his career, 6-5 the score to the ninth. Bunterson, Jeterson, and jumps do up against Ospecialo, who I'm going to let try and get his third save of the year. Actually, he's going for the win, never mind. Bunterson won for four today with a double. First pitch fastball away, is it called strike, 0-1. Slider down and in is inside, low, 1-1. Ball up and away. Swung through by Bunderson as he chops at it. One and two. Fastball down and away. Outside. Two and two. Good take. Slider up and in. Swung through at strike three. First punch out for Ospecialo. One down. Brings up Jeterson. Over for three with a walk. First pitch fastball down and away. Ground and then the hold a second. Sam and dives to his left. Cuts it off. Fires the first. In time. Two down. Got to bring up jumps. Jumps has the big stick today for the offense. Three-run homer and a double. Still locked in. Can he keep the game alive? Specialist active here for Ospecialo. Curveball fools him down in the ways. He chops through it. 0-1. Slider down and in. Inside. Good take. 1-1. Fast ball up and away. Fouled off. Into the dugout. 1-2. and two. Ospecialo looking for the punch out. Slider down in the way. Chop. Check swing low, two and two, good take. Jumps barely able to hold back on that. Curveball down and in, swung through at strike three, another punch out for Hander as he gets a second of the inning and second of the outing as he records the two inning win. Freebooters nail it down here as thanks to a late inning home run by rookie Herpy Nixon, the first of his career, we usurp the hot corners winning six to five. 
knocking them to 4-8 and eight on the year. One loss away from being eliminated in the playoff hunt. And we improved to 8-3, and three, guaranteeing another winning se uh, another 500 or better season here in the franchise. Just our third straight season alike. Looking at the box scores, uh, big day for jumps. Had the three RBI homer and the double. RBI for Sportswood on the solo homer. And base drove in a run on an RBI infield single. Uh, hit list for them were Jeterson, Borgener, and Rush. For us, everybody got a hit except Freeman, unfortunately. Salmon had a solo homer. Reliable singled in a run. Nixon had the go-ahead solo homer in the eighth, first of his career. Paul being an RBI single, uh, Pitts an RBI single, and Woody an RBI solo homer to start the game. Uh, Rhubarb only lasts three and two-thirds innings. Eight hits, five earned runs, one walk, two homers given up. She stays at 1-0. Heater, four innings out of the pen, four hits, one earned run on the solo homer, one strikeout, takes a line drive to the face for her troubles. She falls to 0-2. And Finnegan's a third of an inning out of the bullpen, getting the last out of the eighth inning without any problems. On our side, Fuss goes five innings, nine hits, four earned runs, two walks, four strikeouts, and a homer. A little bit of rust in his return after a half season off waiting to get back on the team as we were lowering his salary cap number. Uh, work in progress, but he's doing all right. Tater mustered the rookie out of the bullpen, two innings, a hit, one earned run on a solo homer, which uh, tied the game. And then two innings out of the bullpen from Handro Speciala were perfect with two strikeouts recorded as he gets his first win of the year thanks to the late inning homer by Herbie Nixon. He improves to 1-0. Player of the game is Christopher Woody as he went 3-4, for four, a triple shy of the cycle, driving in uh, one run and scoring twice. Jumps your runner up with the three-run homer and the double. He also scored once, and Dirk Sportswood had the solo homer, and he scored once. He also went 3-4. for four. Good win. That's what we needed. Bouncing back. A couple days off of, you know, no action. So, kept the winning streak alive. Up to two games in a row again. Yes. And now we are one win away from guaranteeing our third straight winning season here in the series. We're on pace for our best season so far. Can we keep it going? Only one way to find out. So looking around the league, Sawteeth win a close one over the Moonstars, 2 to nothing. Nemesis have yet to lock up their division, unfortunately. Blowfish now taking the Moonstars to town. They win 9-5. to five. Nemesis now have secured a winning season as they improved to 9-4. and four. Moonstars fight back against Blowfish to win in 10 innings, 7-4 to four, as they improve to 500. Platify lose, falling below 500, losing twice. Grapplers win as they get their 10th win, uh, extending their division lead over the B-Wolves. Salty taking on the Sandcats. Sandcats win the first play and stay in first place at 10 and 4. Eaters then beat the Platypied, knocking them down to only a 500 season at best. Buzzards win in 10 innings over the Crocodons, 8 to 7. Keeping their playoff slots alive. Okay, looking around the league. Heaters and Wide Loads have both officially been eliminated from playoff contention as they have nine losses. Platypi are looking pretty dire as well, as they can only best they can do is eight. But they are still mathematically in. Um, same with the Jacks, Overdogs, Crocodons, and Buzzards. Uh, although Buzzards are teetering on being eliminated. On our side, um, Hot Corners and Wild Pigs are one win away from officially being one loss away from being eliminated. Uh, same with the Blowfish. Um, everyone else is still mathematically alive. Although the Sandcats are looking pretty good to make it as they're 10 and 4 with two games left to play. I don't see them losing the division lead. Actually, no one can catch them except the Sirloins. So. If the Sirloins lose one game, Sandcats have won their division. I think Sandcats have already clinched a playoff berth, so uh, all we need to do is win one game. We're guaranteed a playoff berth as well, so let's keep it rolling. And we're taking on the Moose, you bastards. Is this a two-game series? No, it's the one. This is the last game we play the Moose this year. I believe we lost that game against them earlier. We did. We lost 14-6, to okay? It's not who you want to see. Alrighty, on the mound, it's going to be uh, former Blowfish ace Wanda Dregler, as she has become the ace of the Moose here in the series. First year with them. She's 1-1 one one with a 6-1-4 ERA and a 150 whip. And for us, we will be sending second-year pitcher, our fourth hurler, right-hander Malaya Ellison, who is 2-0, 3 ERA and a 125 whip, having a better year than the ace Dregler. It is very surprising. Looking around the league, Nixon loses one fielding despite homering. 
Uh, Donovan Drake goes to the Heaters, replacing Bishop Fuller as they're out of the playoff hunt. Marvin Handshake goes is released by the Buzzards for Dick Berger as he returns home. Um, which basically means the, the Buzzards have thrown in the towel. Uh, Cole Salmon, plus 7 power. He's now up to 90 as he becomes an even bigger glass cannon than he already was. God, I wish that was a contact roll. Uh, Izzy Baker goes to the Hot Corners, replacing Auguste Jeterson as they have also given up on their season. Effort Ho, minus 1 fielding. And that's it, okay. Looking at the player development options here. Uh, I do like this one for Jennings. That is a very, very fantastic option. I would love to get that. I like this one for Ospeciallo as well. Damn, that's a fine one. Ooh, that's a good one. McFreddy, that's too high of a chance to get Whiffer. Too high of a chance for Walk Prone. Too high, uh, that one might be worth the risk, but eh, we'll see. Too high of a chance to get Whiffer, so yeah. Let's get this one for Jennings. And then I think this one for Especiallo beats out this one for Parra now because that has a very good chance for K-Man. And if Especiallo has Specialist and K-Man, lefties ain't going to touch him. All right, let's go, Jennings. Going to get the plus eight contact. Yes, that's what he needed. I'll take the plus four here. That's fine. Yeah, he didn't need the fielding as much as he needed that contact boost. He is now an A overall. Yes, competing to be the best player on the team now. Nice job, Nico. Way to go. Just don't leave in free agency, please. I don't have the money. <laughs> All right. Set the line up here. And we'll call it a day. So next time, lineup will look like this. Woody will lead off at third. Then it's first baseman Stump Pitts still locked in. Then it's McFreddy up to the three slot in the DH roll. Effort Ho back in the lineup as he's fully healed from his groin injury. He'll bat fourth behind the dish. Jennings drops to the five slot in center. Uh, reliable bow moves up to the sixth slot. He'll be at shortstop. Burnside back in the lineup in right field over um, Nixon as he will be in right. Then it's Salmon in batting eighth at second base. And Herpy Nixon, the rookie, will be in left field over Polbean, who is tense. I mean, Nixon did get his first career home run this episode, so I'm okay with that. Let's go with it. Alrighty, guys, that'll do it for this episode as we uh, pissed away the lead, but uh, managed to get a late-inning homer from the rookie Herpy Dixon to win our second game in a row and guarantee our third straight 500 or better season. Uh, one win next time out against the Moose here will secure a third straight consecutive winning season. Let's see if we can do it next time. Until then, this is the Nasty One, signing off.